incoming mains cold water, isolating valve, drain cock, check meter for leak detection, which is linked to an external water meter and an internal control panel to monitor water usage internally and at the boundary and register a fault if there's any leakage occurred. Main incoming water meter in addition to the water authorities meter. This is linked to the BMS. Cold water service uh, temperature sensor. And then from there, the mains cold water serves the rainwater harvesting tank room uh, tank and also the main cold water storage tanks. Potable and non-potable cold water storage tank split into two sections, section one and section two with an internal divider to allow tank maintenance uh, during cleaning and chlorination processes. Outlet from each tank, drain from each tank and a ball valve to the rear for inlet. Overflows and warning pipes discharge externally to the service yard. If they're running, there's a label on to direct you to the internal ball valves to check. Linked together, common boosted, uh, tank cold water out to the booster sets. Raised ball valve chamber, inlet ball valve, an isolating valve for each tank. Overflow screened, warning pipe screened to external service yard. Cold water storage booster set for potable and non-potable cold water. Three pump inverter controlled with additional accumulator vessels to store pressure charge. Common base frame on AV mounts, headers for discharge and suction from tank and fitted with pressure reducing valve to review, review, reduce head pressure within the system. The dishwasher in the kitchen, the vehicle wash, the fuel island and the hot water services are all served from a non-potable softened cold water system. Here we have the softening plant. We've got the brine tank and the resin bottles, duplicate, so we can have one run and one standby to maintain a constant supply of soft water, all electronically controlled via time. They link together from the boosted cold water and then out via the system to the job. Cold water softening brine tank, standard salt tablets, level of around half to be maintained, uh, and checked on a regular basis. The building is fitted with a rainwater harvesting system consisting of four main items. An external 50,000 litre storage tank with 10,000 litre sediment chamber. An internal rainwater processing unit which contains filtration and back washing facility. An internal day tank for storing of the filtered rainwater. And a cold water booster set to boost the rainwater to the toilets and urinals within the building. The internal cold water service day tank outlet also is via an ultraviolet filter to uh, remove any bacteria within the system. It's important that the monitoring device is regularly checked, it will count down the year's use for the lamp. Once the, the year's use is down, you must replace the lamp. To ensure continual operation of the rainwater system, the ultraviolet filtration is fitted with inlet and outlet isolating valves and a bypass. To replace the filter, isolate the inlet and outlet and open the bypass. This will ensure continual use within the building. Rainwater processing unit, its purpose is to receive the pumped water from the underground tank, filter and boost until the day, the day tank. The processing unit filtration backwash is fully automatic, however if need be, they can, by pressing the B button on the controller, operate the manual backwash. Also, any faults occur, 
To reset the faults, press A and plus simultaneously. Processing unit consists of inlet rainwater meter to enable the controller to uh, measure the flow rate through the system and um, calculate how often the backwash needs to take place. Filter to 30 microns that will be automatically backwashed. Accumulator that will be used to divert water at boosted pressure back through the filtration unit and to drain and a three port diverting valve that um, carries out the, uh, the, the isolation from the incoming mains water to the outgoing to the day tank. Rainwater day tank fitted with rainwater dip pipe for fill, mains cold water backup for circumstances where rainwater is not available, controlled via solenoid valve linked to high and low pressure switches to record level in tank. Both connections are fitted with rainwater meters linked to the BMS to enable accurate assessment of rainwater and raw water used. Valve chart for cold water service tank room located inside door on right will indicate valve numbers adjacent to each valve within the plant room and their size and their service description. Cold water service tank overflow and warning pipe discharge labelled to indicate check float valves if water discharging. Fifty thousand litre rainwater harvesting tank buried below ground, approximately two metres from the surface, fitted with a ten thousand litre sediment chamber to which access to the sediment chamber is from this inspection cover. Um, regular maintenance will include um, pumping out and cleaning of this tank. Second inspection chamber is for the twin pumping sets that pump the rainwater into the building, fitted with MDPE discharges and level switch within the tank. Regular maintenance required, remove the pumps from the tank and um, check operation. Final inspection chamber is the terminal connections for the rainwater pumps and the level switches. Basically inside this cover is two insulated waterproof enclosures that house the electrical connections with a link back to the internal processor unit.